Hello everyone, today I'll show you how to edit files uh, using Tinkercad. For example, you have downloaded a um, file from Thingiverse and you're not uh, too happy about the dimensions or something, so you might want to edit it. So I will show you how to do this. So first off, you'll have to create a new design inside of the Tinkercad. This will show you um, the entire editor of the software. Then you will have to import your design using this pattern on the top right corner. It will take some time because it's uploaded to the Tinkercad. Once you have your design uploaded, you can place a ruler on the, in the corner or on work plane. So it shows you the dimensions of your design and the location on the work plane. So I'll just move it to 0 and 0 on work plane, so it's easier to navigate. To make things easier, you can switch from perspective view to flat view. Uh, it's way easier on the flat view to uh, see the dimensions. Now I'll rotate the model so it matches my uh, demands for it to be modified. Once the model is rotated, I can now uh, edit it in my way that I wanted. So you'll have to cut the bottom part of it because I have to extend the place for the uh, for the nut on the top. So I'll have to match the dimensions of my box, the transparent box I've just added to match the dimensions of this uh, design I downloaded it. So now I will move it so it's uh, it matches the placement. Now I can see it's uh, uneven height. So I'll just edit it. Six is uh, way to go. but it's drifted to right. I'll just check if it's in a good uh, height. Now I'll just move it and then I can select both, uh, the, both designs. Just copy it because I will need it later. And select both and group them using the button on the top right. Now I'll have to cut off the top part from the second model I copied before. So I'll have to do the same thing, but cut the top part. So I know the width is 30 and length is 56. So now I'll have to move the, the next box over the, the part like this. And now I know I have to move it up by 6 millimeters. And here put um, just a random dimension so it matches the top part and group again. So I'll have separated both parts and I can move it to zero and it's basically the, the same part but uh, with uh, two models separately. Now I have just moved the top part by the distance I want to rise it. So now I'll have to fill the, the gap with new model. So I can check the its width which is 25 by uh, 30 so I'll give it 25 by 30 and now I'll have to move it to the bottom of this upper part so it's 15.5 and now I can trim the uh, the red box so it's the its height is um, filling the uh, gap between top and bottom part so I'll change it here to 11 and then I actually make a mistake by making it 
12 which I fix later now we can select all the parts group it again and we'll have the perfectly moved or extended part so on the right you can see the original design and on the left I did one uh, as you can see it's successfully been extended so now we can export it by selecting it and then select the button so it downloads only the selected model which can now be imported into the slicer of your choice my old one deleted place it the, the way you want it post process it and send it to the printer I've printed it with um, PLA plastic on my Core XY uh, 3D printer with uh, 0.2 layer height and basic speeds for uh, PLA like around 100 millimeters per, per second so on the left the gray part is the original one pretty good molded one this is the unedited part which is uh, a little smaller and this is the edited one which is higher and it fits the uh, router perfectly so that's all for the editing parts in the Tinkercad I hope this helps you and I will see you in the next one